Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from Electronics Eternity. Uh, this time around we will be looking at uh, pie and donut chart. So probably this is you know, the kind of chart for a foodie. So uh, this is actually the third part of the JS chart series. So if you haven't watched the first and the second part, uh, be sure to do so. In the first part, we will cover in detail about how the JS chart works, and in the second, in the second part, we'll be covering about uh, line charts, and finally, here we are in pi and donut charts. Okay, so without uh, further ado, let's jump into how do we create this pi and donut chart. So uh, as usual. I would have the HTML uh, formatting and also I would have my bootstrap bootstrap over here and the same for chart.js right so all this is bootstrap and then we have our JS chart so here we have uh, h1 uh, header 1 text which basically says JS charts and next is the uh, Next is basically the script that will construct this uh, pie chart that we're seeing here. Okay, so the values are x values are basically years, and y values are basically you know some array of values. So the first thing we have to do is to declare our canvas, which you could see over here and here, and uh, we would set the type to pie because we want to construct a pie chart basically so and uh, next is we have background color so this is the background color uh, it's basically red green and blue with uh, 0.5 transparency uh, we also have uh, red and green combination that will give us some color like this yellow uh, this is basically the background color when it's when we are not hovering our mouse ho over these sections uh, when you hover over your mouse you would basically get the same sort of color it's just that it's slightly darker because we are increasing the uh, the the color values right so 0.8 is basically darker than 0.5 right so in, in short to say 0.5 is more transparent than uh, 0.8 so 0.8 would give you more opaque kind of color right uh, next is we have hover border color so this is the color that if you could see when we are not hovering the mouse over the uh, the pie chart you could see no border however when we put our mouse on top of it we could see a thicker Order of, of pretty much the same color is just a lot thicker uh, in, in color right so that is for these values sorry this one okay now so let's look at our uh, hover border width so we have five over here uh, let's just try and drop it to two and and let's see how it looks like so when you refresh you basically have a much leaner border on the outer section over here right so if you increase the value and you go to 4 you're going to have thicker border in in this uh, sections which separates one from another right so that is the function of hover border width uh, over here this is the border when we are not hovering our mouse on top of it which is basically a white border as you can see Right, so uh, just to prove to you, let me set this to five and see how it show you how it looks like. So basically, we have a thicker separations in between uh, these four sections. Right, so I don't want it to look that odd. So I'm going to just go back to two, and once I refresh it, I have uh, much leaner uh, separations in between these sections. Okay, so that. Uh, like those are the attributes that I use in in uh, defining my JS uh, donut chart uh, again if you want to identify all the 
you want to identify all the attributes that is related to uh, donut chart you can always go here and try to go through this attributes and uh, make use of whichever one that you like so each uh, for each and every one of these uh, properties of the donut chart they have the subsequent explanation so be sure to go through that and try to understand how it works okay so we're, we're done pretty much done with the uh, donut chart now let's go to the uh, uh, pie chart sorry this is actually the pie chart the other one is the donut chart so before that this is the usual basically the title and also the, the how to say the legends for this each of this right so we would want the title to be displayed and, and therefore we're setting it to true and this is the title that's all as simple as that so we have constructed our uh, our pie chart okay so next let's go to our donut chart that we could see over here it's exactly the same attributes right it's the same set of the only difference is we put here donut and we change my chart uh, my chart 3 to 4 earlier it was 3 now we want it to be 4 because we're creating a new canvas so it's the exact same attributes which defines what are the color when we are not putting our mouse on it when we hover the mouse on it uh, how does it look like what's the thickness of the border and etc right it's exactly the same and and the same part over here as well so it's actually that simple to create a pie and donut chart you can always use uh, either one of this to whichever you feel it works best for you right so with that we have come to the end of the tutorial i hope uh, you know this you find this tutorial helpful and if you need further enhancement to your pie and donut chart you can always go back to the js chart which is very well presented you can always uh, find whatever information that you need and make use of it to enhance your uh, pie and donut chart right so with that we have come to the end uh, thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye